Hi, I'm Cody Daigalorians. And I'm Alex Giannini, and we're the program managers at the Westport Library. And this is 10 Questions With, short interviews with some of our favorite authors while they and we are stuck at home. These 10 questions are for someone who is no stranger to the Westport Library, Nina Sankovich. Nina, say hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. So you're gonna, you'll know Nina uh, from her books, Tolstoy and the Purple Chair, My Year of Magical Reading, and The Lowells of Massachusetts, An American Family. Her latest book, American Rebels, How the Hancock, Adams, and Quincy Families Fan the Flames of Revolution, was published in March, and I own it digitally, and you should too. Great. Great. It's awesome. Um, and away we go. Okay. So first Great. question, um, which projects of yours should people grab while they are stuck at home? Well, of course, I'm going to say American Rebels, <laughs> the Hancock Adams and Quincy families fan the flames of revolution. Um, but seriously, it's available, you know, hardcover, RJ Julie is delivering, um, Barrett, Street books, Barrett Books is delivering. I mean, you can get it, you can get it in hardcover, you can get it as an ebook, you can get it as an audiobook, and the woman who reads it is amazing. Um, and actually, there's a fair amount in the book about these um, rebels kind of living through times of smallpox, dysentery, other kinds of epidemics that came in and out of the village. And, and I swear I found some consolation in Abigail Adams and how she dealt with just absolute horror going on in her own house. She took over as nurse and she writes about, you know, people in her house becoming putrid masses of rot and yet she's still helping them out, cleaning them up. So if Abigail could do it back then, we can hang in there. We have to. So Talking about abject horror, what is a, a go-to book right now for you? Um, well, wow. I've, it's like I can finally get to my reading list, which is amazing. Um, so I finally read The Kites by Romain Gary, um, French writer, and a friend had lent it to me months ago, and she's kind of been asking for it back. Um, and I read it. It is so great. It's Normandy during World War II and sort of their, how they dealt with, you know, France being invaded by Germany, being taken over, and the the rise of the resistance in this village and the role that just flying kites played as part of the resistance. And, and boy, it was inspirational and it's funny and it's so moving, just a wonderful book. What about a go-to album right now? Oh, I, oh wow, go to, you know, it's very embarrassing, but I'm going back to like soundtrack to Pippin, soundtrack to Hair, soundtrack <laughs> to Les Mis. Yeah. There's, there's something about those uh, those soundtracks to Broadway musicals that just can get you feeling like, okay, I can I can do this, we can do this together, we're all in this together. So I have to say, uh, I'm going back uh, back on Broadway. <laughs> How about a, a go-to movie or maybe a TV show that you're binging? This is super embarrassing, but I watched the entire season of Love Is Blind on Saturday, the whole thing. Whole, waited for the reunion show for Sunday, waited one day to watch the reunion show. Uh, totally loved it, beats The Bachelor by like a million miles. Uh, just loved it, loved it. Love is blind. <laughs> what about a go-to beverage right now? Well, it is very tempting to have my go-to beverage be anything I can pull out of the liquor cabinet. But I have been uh, sticking to coffee and water during the day. Five o'clock, I get out this amazing sparkling, like rosé prosecco from France. That's 8% alcohol, which means I can just drink it all night long and stay lucid for all these people that I'm cooking for. And uh, it's, so yeah, go-to prosecco, 8% rosé. How about a go-to work from home outfit? you know I, I always work from home so um so i'm pretty yeah i'm pretty set in my routine if i get out of bed and i put on clothes uh i'm not in my pajamas all day um but i have to say this is the first time i've put on lipstick in a while <laughs> to get ready for this <laughs> my go-to outfit has to be a stretchy pant waist because i am indulging with my family in cookies, chocolate, ice cream, all those kinds of things. So go to stretchy waist. What about go to place you'd rather be right now? I assume we're not supposed to get too political here. Uh, I'd like to go to a universe where the people in charge, we're not the people in charge. Um, um, I have to say in some ways I'm in a great place. I'm here with my family. All my kids are home. My parents are here. 
So I know everyone is home safe and that never happens for me anymore. Um, this was supposed to be my empty nester year. Didn't quite turn out that way. Um, so maybe my, my go-to place will be uh, an empty nest in a coronavirus free world. How about a, a go-to time waster? Oh man, you know, um, I am making cookies all the time, like all the time. And, um, and I'm not even that big a cookie fan. What I am is a huge cookie dough fan. So I'm, I, I eat about a third of the dough, two thirds of the dough gets made into cookies. So my time waster is first eating all the cookie dough and then walking around and around and around and around and around my yard to kind of relieve the pressure on my stretchy pants. <laughs> That's hilarious, I love that. What about a go-to person you'd like to hear answer these questions? Oh, well, wow. Um, I would love to hear Charlotte Rogan, who's another writer from Westport. You guys know her, she's great. Um, and she, uh, she definitely has some strong opinions on what we should all be doing. And uh, she's, she has a whole huge list of books she's been trying to get to read, and I think she's finally getting to them. Uh, so she would be really interesting to hear from, for sure. How about a go-to nostalgia bomb that brings you to a happy place? Um, Definitely going back and I have a, I'm a, I'm a grandchild, she's a year old and, um, and looking at her, it sent me back to looking at all the baby pictures, not only of my own kids, but my sister's been sending me her baby pictures, other friends. We've all been on this like kind of baby picture thing. And I don't know if we, you know, I don't know, but it's, it's been really fun to just see what everybody looked like as a baby. <laughs> So what are so what ways for people to find you online while they're stuck at home? Well, um, I'm on Facebook, you know, Nina Sankovich. I'm on Twitter, read all day. Um, I'm trying to do some Facebook live stuff. I, um, I'm on Instagram. Instagram is my favorite thing to do. I love making Instagram stories, adding all the little gifs, adding, you know, confetti, adding a strobe light. So Instagram, Nina Sankovich on Instagram, I promise you really fun stories. Thank you for taking a couple minutes to hang out with us uh, during this wild time. We really appreciate yeah. it, Nina. Yeah. Thank you. So if you want to find uh, more of the 10 questions with interviews, you can head to the Westport Library's website at westportlibrary.org. Uh, thanks again, Nina. Thank you, guys. Take care. Take care. Stay safe. Stay sane. Bye. Bye.